Hey guys, what's up? So I got this list from Keebler and I think he's pilot piloting it real good. I'm sure this deck could still be improved, but for the most part it's Shadow Priest with Vandar. So you're kinda a control deck in a way, then if you get Vandar early, that's cool, cause all your stuff are gonna be cheap. And yeah, I think it's good. Um, you're gonna utilize Amulet of Undying, so it's kind of Shadow Control Resurrect Priest, where you just keep on resurrecting your Death Rail stuff, and that'll be Light Shower, and I guess sorta in a way you're gonna get Infinite Armor. Well, not really infinite, but you know, it it, it might be a lot, cause these are only your, these are the only Death Rail guys in your deck. Alright, so I think it's pretty good. Um, I'll give it a try. And yeah, Keebler is known for like piloting his own decks that are really off meta and doing pretty well with it. So let's see if we could do that ourselves. And yeah, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and let's go play some games. It's always worth fighting for. Alright, um, at one point we are not gonna beat Quest Warlock, so at one point we have to apply pressure. So I'm thinking this is a pretty bad matchup. But yeah, it's just gonna happen, so... I'm glad we have Vandar in our hand. Um, yeah, let's shuffle the rest in. So let's see how good Vandar is. Like, right now, it's in the opening hand. I could actually coin it out, cause... The least, um, I could basically, basically cast everything except, uh, 8 and 9. So, I, I could light shower. Yeah, so I could probably coin this out. But let's see, we're sort of control, so it's gonna be hard to, you know, face quest warlock. Because Quest Warlock will just be Quest Warlock and it's an inevitable fatigue damage win for them. I think this is gonna be a no brainer hero power. Unless he top deck tour guide. But I still think. Yeah, I would have hero powered if I picked if I if I drew tour guide that turn. Alright, let's see how this goes, cause I think, um, well I'm pretty sure if this dies and I race dead it, and I play it again, uh, basically everything is minus 6. So you don't wanna draw into them, that's the thing. So this deck is gonna be cycling and cycling and cycling Amulet of Undying, then putting down pretty broken stuff. Alright. Here we go. So yeah, um, it's very smart because you actually have Call of the Grave which could get you more stuff to death rattle with. And I think the way Amulet of Undying works... Oh, it's per instance of death, never mind. But I still think it's pretty cool. Ooh, I want to corrupt this. It's easily corruptible now that we have the Vandar in play. That's pretty broken. And I think if you race dead, it comes back corrupted if not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, um, Sanesh is not something I want resurrected, so let's go for this taunt guy. And if this dies, we could race dead. Then boom, put down Vandar again. This is gonna be an annoying deck. It, it seems doable, it actually seems doable. Okay. Alright, um, this is corrupted, 
So if this dies, we release dead. Ooh, is he gonna play the Soul Rand Zero to cast again? dead and do broken stuff oh wait why isn't it orange oh it doesn't work that way oh my god okay that was a dumb moment I see now it's not that broken because everything's discounted already so yeah um there's definitely gonna be stuff that costs less than this Okay, that was a misplay, but I still, um, it was a huge misplay, but I still think it's pretty broken. The fact that I don't feel like I'm currently losing at this state, but of course if you get to part 3, um, that's trouble. But look at this hand, it's still pretty decent. You don't want this to die though with this 5 armor, but you can't control it sometimes. Oh. Armor is not gonna do good when uh, Tamsin comes, so I'm pretty scared. Oh, wow! I was able to get... Okay, this is broken. Okay, we are doing broken stuff right now. Alright, it wasn't a huge misplay after all. Because once you get the card or the minions lower than this, you could do it all over again. But of course, it won't be consistent. Alright, um, you've got... I think one more soul rend here. There you go. Okay, I'm pretty scared for the fatigue damage to be honest. It did not get... Okay, don't get Amulet of Undying. But this speeds up fatigue. I have to win by attacking here. Okay, um, amulet. Let's try to get an amulet. There we go. I actually want to heal this. So, still in part two with two cards. So, yeah, I think I'm. I'm gonna be able to fatigue in before Tamsin comes. Alright. Okay, it's pretty scary. But quite okay. I don't think you have answers to the 8-8s eight anymore. So just keep trading this in. Put this down, this is gonna be a big threat. Okay. So still about to go to part 3. It would be broken if the damage carries over, but of course it doesn't do that. Look at this, a 2 to cast 8-8. Eight, eight. Goliath's need. Alright, we're just winning this. This is my first time to play this card. How do, 
I could oh there's okay that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um let's do this. I think I should have chosen something else there. Let's put down minions. There's no more soul render, right? So this is gonna be I don't know. I don't know how my opponent's gonna win here. If there's there's still one more backfire, but I think it's it's not gonna be enough. Backfire, I'm still alive. Raise that backfire, I'm still alive. Unless I'm not. Yeah, I'm still alive. So... We were able to win. I think this deck is good. I'm gonna stream it. I'm gonna try it out some more. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And I'll be back with more videos, so see ya!